Hey there, Arconiacs. Sorry for the delay, but here is a review of Only Murders in the Building, Episode 4. Here's looking at you and some theories on who the killer might be. This was a great episode, and off the top, I just have to say that I love the character of Lucy. She is not what I was expecting at all, but fit right in. Not only that, I love that she had a full and very emotional arc with an ending that we'll all get to later. Near the beginning, we find that Charles had a hit a few years back that gave him some nice residual income while preparing to make omelets like the good old days with Lucy. We find the murder weapon. I had wondered where the knife originally came from, and we learned that it belonged to Oliver. He received it as a gift for a stage production that was a take on Macbeth starring Vanilla Ice. Now Macbeth being one of Shakespeare's most famous plays and that General Macbeth is given a prophecy that he will become king. He then murders the king and takes the throne for himself. This leads to a lot of guilt and paranoia and teaches us to stifle or manage ambitions lest they get out of control. I think that the story of Macbeth may parallel the killer, a person with ambitions to take over the Arconia from its leader, so to speak. Though from what we know, this would seem like Nina. She is the most likely suspect from, from everything that we've seen. But after her touching moment with Charles, I don't think she knows who the killer is. This does not mean that someone she knows could not have done it. As of right now, I only have two major suspects, one being Nina's lover and likely her baby daddy. We haven't been formally introduced to this person, but from IMDb, I believe this actor is David Peterson playing the character Jared McGregor. He may have been more hellbent on getting rid of Bunny than Nina Lynn, and after finding out that Bunny decided not to retire, he took matters into his own hands. Mabel states that he looks like an MMA fighter in a suit, and there is another character that will appear in episode 7 called The Boxer. So it seems that Jared's fighting ability will come into play. IMDb is not always 100% correct, so I can't say that it is confirmed, but I feel very strongly about this. My only issue with Jared being the killer is that I don't know if Bunny would have told Nina about the secret passageways, though she did trust her, but this secret is something that she held very close. But if she did, though it makes sense on how badly she felt Nina Lynn betrayed her. Not only because of her ideas of updating the Arconia, but for telling her its coveted secrets that she may try to exploit. But before our group even finds the Arcatacombs, Howard comes in with some hot goss. He explains that he had lied earlier and that Nina Lynn punched him in the face. Now, I do believe she did this. It would be an easy way to find out if he's lying about this. Howard clearly has it out for Nina, constantly trying to make her the prime suspect. This could be because Howard himself has some aspirations. He may also want power, and now Nina Lynn is the only person in his way. But even with this, I feel there are some inconsistencies about who the killer could be. We will go over that later. All four of them enter their arcadic homes and Oliver goes to find more information on how Teddy Demas intends to fuck him. Now, this was a powerful moment. It showed how shattered the relationship between Teddy and his son Theo is. Theo blames his father for basically having no life and having him speak truly showed how hurt he was about everything that his life had become because his father brought him up in this crime ridden world. I think that this is the driving reason that Theo will later help the podcasters in their search for the truth. Later on, Charles and Lucy have a very personal conversation about why she came to see him. She opened up about how hard it was without Charles for those eight years and cemented that they will not lose contact again. She also tells him while listening to the podcast, she thought Jan was for him. She thought that she was a good fit. I think that Charles still has feelings for Jan, and that's where he got the first idea of going to see her. The second being when he sends Lucy off home, where she tells him that she came because she was worried about him. That kind of leads to a subscriber else theory on how far Lucy would go to protect him. It's very interesting theory, but I need to see more before I can back it 100%. Lucy tells Charles that he needs to toughen up and to do something about his feelings that other people know more than he does. Lucy's umbrella is quite colorful and I think it was meant to mirror a light version of Jan's outfit that had very similar colors and design. Someone who knows more than he does, so he decides to go see her. 
In episode five, the trio will find a liar in their midst. And I think they will find out that they have a liar from information Charles receives from Jan. We also find out that Lucy was in the building, as deep in the building as one could get, and she heard Bunny's murder, but did not mention this to Charles. I'm so iffy on the fact that she didn't mention this to him. I understand that he does not want her involved in it in any way, and I think this is why she's keeping quiet. Depending on if what we saw from her perspective is all she knows, it's not much, and it doesn't even seem as if she saw the killer. Speaking of the killer, let's get to him, or her. Now, this is where I'm having some issues. What seems to be inconsistency may be the fact that there are two different people. The person we see at the end of episode four does not seem to be the same person we saw at the end of episode three. First, the person in episode three had small feet and we know they stabbed Bunny with a knife. But the person at the end of episode four might have had the same boots, but this person looked a lot bigger all around. More importantly, they were wearing boot dust covers, but had no knife. Person in episode three did not have boot dust covers when we saw them. And from the size and complexion of this person, it's hard to say if it is male or female, but I'm going to say it's a man just because of that cough. A little added note, this slight facing movement makes me think of someone with a dance or a fighting background, so I lean toward this being Jared. It could also be the editing, but it seems like it was mere seconds after Bunny is killed on the 12th floor that this person appears on the 14th. How and why would this person move up to the 14th floor so quickly? Do they live on the 14th floor or is this a separate person? And the fact that Bunny recognized the person who came to her door, even though they had a ski mask on, it literally makes no sense to me. Could be someone that Bunny is used to seeing in a ski mask. If that is the case, I don't think we have met this person. Not to mention we also have this person from the trailers who seems to be wearing a ski mask and wielding a knife and a flashlight. It's gotten a bit complicated. As much as I'm scratching my head trying to figure it out, I know soon we have to start tearing away at some of these red herrings. Either way, we just have more questions than answers as usual, and I'm hoping Jan will give us some insight to what's going on in the Arconia. I think it will be interesting if she does indeed mention Howard again as a shady person and someone that the group should look into. Don't forget we have a giveaway going on at the channel. $50 in official Only Murders in the Building merchandise to a randomly selected person at the end of the season. All you need to do to enter is be a subscriber, like, and comment on the video. And at the end of the season, a person will be chosen at random. But who do you have your sights on as a killer after meeting Lucy? And what was your favorite part of the episode? Next to seeing the killer, um, I'm, I'm torn between that and when Lucy uh, crying gave Charles a hug and said pitter patter pitter patter it, it kind of got me in my feelings a little bit who was that mysterious figure in the catacombs what do you think's going on I'm thinking there's two people but I'm not sure as confused as I am I hope you're not as confused Sorry, I've had to work doubles this whole week, so it's hard to get everything together. I still have some other ideas, but I didn't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to try and get another video out before the next episode. Either way, thank you guys for watching. My name is Dallas, and I'll see you on the rooftop.